Hello and welcome to Advertisers Watching Ads. This is a weekly show where brands watch other brands' ads. They have got a middle-aged white man being dunked into a tank of coloured paint. It's like, if that is the target audience, does it work? What's the skippable online version yeah. of this? Because obviously nearly two minutes, no one's going to sit through that unless you're at the cinema. I think they buy theatres because they're fun. And I think that's what this is going on. My name is Tom Ollison. I'm the founder of Automated Creative, the creative effectiveness platform. And this week, we have a really exciting bit of creative that we're going to share with you. But before we get to this week's ad, let's meet this week's guests. Hi, everyone. I'm Julie Pender. I'm drink strategist and a brand builder, uh, currently working with Perno Ricard on Beef Eater Gin. I'm Mary Sayona, Senior Brand Manager for Vanish and Calgon in Reckitt, Spain. Hi, I'm Vic Miller and I'm VP of PR and Comms at GWI. Who else do you need? Who else do you need? What a panel. Let's see this week's ad. Ah, il grigio. Il colore preferito di tutti noi costruttori di auto. Grigio, tedesco, giapponese, francese. Vende bene, vende sempre. Ma scusate, qui non parliamo della Germania o del Giappone o della Francia. Parliamo dell'Italia. E guardate, l'Italia è gioia, ottimismo, amore, passione, vita. Allora, cosa c'entra il grigio? Nulla. Il mondo non ha bisogno di un'altra macchina grigia. Cambiamo le regole. Da oggi, niente più Fiat Grigio. Scale of one to five, vote with your fingers. One, two, three. Whoa, yeah, wasn't expecting that. A four, a four, and a two. So, Julie, can you tell us anything more about the wider campaign? Why are they doing this and how you responded to it the first time you saw it? I actually really liked the ad. I thought that there was a lot of Italian lifestyle kind of coming into it. Very kind of bright, bold, Mediterranean colors. Basically evoke this feeling around you of being in Italy and then talk about the fact that they're never going to do a gray car again. And the idea that all the other car companies can own having gray cars, but clearly that's not a very fun color to bring this kind of fiat feeling to the consumers. So they're going to not do it anymore. And then of course, take their CEO and dip him into a giant tub of orange paint, which I thought was super uh, funny and made me laugh. I liked it. And visually, I think it's really nice. I just felt it was a bit pointless. It's quite long. I can sort of see it working more for Very cinema. Long. Like visually, it's really nice. But the bit where they're dunking him into the orange tank just felt really long and drawn out. For me, the thing that's really missing is where are these beautiful coloured cars that, were, that are on offer? It's just like, that's the thing that visually, as a potential consumer, I want to see. It's like, if you're not doing grey cars, what are you doing? And I don't know, I, it's nice, but I don't think it hits the spot for me. I think they were trying to make the colour orange pop and there's definitely like a bit of a, a stick at the other car companies. And they're trying to, I think they're trying to build their distinctiveness on being that sunshiny, super fun brand. I think there's a huge consumer insight in terms of why people buy Fiat's, right? I don't think they buy Fiat's for performance. I don't think they buy Fiat's because they're going to get, you know, amazing mileage. I think they buy Fiat's because they're fun. And I think that's what this is pulling on. I don't mind the frivolity of it and that it that maybe it doesn't have much of a point beyond 
you know, it's aspirational, it's fun, it's colourful. I'm thinking of the colours of gelato and I'm associating them to Fiat. Almost a bit Vespa-like. It could have done with a bit more branding, maybe seeing some of the the Fiat colours we all know and love zipping around in the background of this cute Italian uh, city, right? I do think it needs a bit more branding because I don't know who exactly the target audience is for this, but they may not have enough clues to know that we're in fiat land. If yeah. you have been exposed to decades of, of fiat advertising before, you might need a bit more help to get to that moment. I feel as if it's meant to be slightly for the sort of slightly young audience, perhaps like that sort of pop of colour, like being a fun brand and differentiating from other car companies. I get that. But then they've got this kind of, and like he's really impressive. I think his name's Oliver Francois, the CEO, but they have got a middle-aged white man being dunked into a tank of coloured paint. It's like, if that is the target audience, does it work? I don't. I had to Google him and find out who he was. And I found it from their Instagram account. I got the concept of it. But that's for advertisers, isn't it? It's not for the consumer that's going to buy a colourful car. No, you've got to wait for a long time for the payoff on it, don't you? To understand it's Fiat. There's, I watched it several times because I was actually looking for any other Fiat cars. I, I seriously did dive into this a little too much because I was like, are they in the background? Because there, there is no Fiat appearing at all. And you have to wait a very long time to get the payoff if you miss the subtitle in the beginning in terms of who he is. What I'm hoping, though, is that in when they executed in market, that they bought media around it that actually supported this as a long film. And maybe you did some great short 30-second cuts and maybe some digital content that made it more engaging and hopefully brought it into the dealerships, right? Brought it into the actual place where consumers are and did a really clever buy to, to you know, dip something maybe in the dealerships or show, show that orange new vehicle dipped. I do really want to see this campaign in all its glory, 360, what's the skippable online version? Yeah this because obviously nearly two minutes no one's going to sit through that unless you're at the cinema did someone at that agency go hey man everyone's cars are great let's not make great cars can someone ring the brand and tell them to stop making great cars that never happened did they just decide to stop making great cars because they're really expensive and someone said let's flip it and say oh we only make colorful cars so where did that how do you think that came about I think it's less about specifically people wanting X colour car. You know, they could have consumer insights. For example, Italy is the favourite travel destination for an audience between 22 and 35, if that's what they're looking at. And I think some of this feels, because some of their messaging on social is about being positive and bright and colourful. I wonder if there's more of a play on that kind of positive outlook on life. There feels like there's a few themes coming through here that they might have taken from consumer insights from that set audience. So they're looking at things that appeal to that audience. I have another Um, theory for that, Tom. The cynical like brand manager in me said, "Okay, the grey cars aren't selling very well. Let's just delist them in style. You know, it could be the world's most jazzy, you know, discontinuation of a colour ever. And if anything, the value of those remaining cars in market is going to go up. Okay, so you're going to go back to your teams, inspired or not, by this ad. What are you going to? What are you going to take back home with this? What are you going to learn from it? But for me, it's the simplicity. So they went for fun, colourful, we're Italian, and that's it. And I like that they weren't tempted to sneak in any technical features or or mumbo jumbo about the new model. They just kept it simple. And I liked that. I would go back and say, you can have a really nice creative idea, but you are still ultimately selling a car. Where is the beautiful color that is on offer? And then it's like, how's that going to execute? Maybe we're still going to see the execution of this. Maybe they're going to do a great job of bringing it into to other elements. But I feel like this one's just, I don't know, it feels like it falls a bit flat for me. I'm going to sit in the middle of both of you in terms of the point of view. I, I did like it. I like the music. I love an Italian accent and I wasn't put off by the, the CEO. I, I thought it was quite, as a marketer, I was like, what oh, good value. You didn't have to pay any usage fees to an actor. But it, overwhelmingly, I still watched it. I laughed. I smiled. I, I knew it was Fiat. And, and I enjoyed it as a result. Would you sign off this campaign in its current form? Yes or no? One, two, three. Okay, <laughs> there you have it. We'll see you all next week. <laughs> <laughs>